All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know a lot of you guys are anxious to get out there and do some ice fishing. I was hoping to be on the ice today, but uh, my little pond that I usually fish early season, I checked it last week and I was able to walk out on it. And then we had two days of rain, some 50 degree days, and it's just definitely not safe right now to get out on there. So I uh, dug through the archives, found this video that I never posted last year. And uh, it's kind of like a B video. It never, uh, the plan never really happened the way we wanted it to. We did, we definitely went out and caught a bunch of fish. But I figured I'd post it now just to give you guys something to watch. And uh, if you guys are getting excited about ice fishing like I am, uh, I have a playlist down below with all of my ice fishing videos. And I got some pretty cool ones from last year. I got an ice camping video that a lot of people have loved watching. So definitely go check that one out. We'll pop it up right here. I'll get back to you guys at the end of the video. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I got Josh with me. We're gonna head out to a pond and try to catch a, uh, a couple of main patch fish, yellow perch patch fish. If you don't know what the patch club is, you can go to the main sportsman website and it's basically a minimum length. If you catch a fish over that length, you take a picture of it on a tape measure, take a picture of you holding it, submit it, with the uh, supplied form that they give you and they'll send you back a patch. Um, we're not gonna probably submit for the patch if we catch one, but we're gonna try to catch a couple of yellow perch over 13 inches, which in Maine isn't really huge. Um, I'm hoping we can even get close to like 14 inches on a perch or so, but if we're gonna do the intro now because we get a little bit of a snowmobile ride out. We lost so much snow the last couple days with all the rain we got, so it's gonna be a little dry sledding here and there, but. Um, I wanted to show you guys the new snowmobile that Josh just picked up. The thing is sick. I'm a little jealous because you guys know my snowmobile situation. Well, I'm getting the new sled next year, boys and girls. Mark my words. Check this thing out. Josh got an Expedition. 2021 Expedition 900 four stroke LE. It's pretty sweet. And, uh, so that's what we're gonna be riding out. He's gonna be riding out on that. He's gonna be towing the flip over shack there. And I'm gonna be on the old vintage 1967 skidoo. So we're gonna be uh, having the old skidoo parade going out there. If you guys have seen some of my perch videos in the past, you know they're pretty fun to catch. So let's get suited up and get out there, do some fishing. Take this old bomber down there.
be a perfect day. Bass. Bass, baby. Okay. Let's try this. I got it. That feels decent. Might be a bass. Oh yeah, it's a bass. <laughs> oh yeah. Not another bass. Yeah. You can see the bass in here are all kind of the same size. Kind of stunted. Um, so see that little guy there? He's about the same size as the one Josh just caught. It's a big bowl, so there's not a lot of, there's there's really no structure at all. You can see all the cattails and stuff around. So it's just a big, deep hole, uh, featureless, muddy bottom. So it has a lot of insect and bug life down in there. And the perch in here are the apex predator. I mean, there's perch in here bigger than the bass, so. Uh, hopefully we'll get to show you that today and it's really quite impressive the quality of perch in here I haven't fished it yet this year so I don't know I'm hoping that they're still they're still thriving in here like they have been the last few years but we'll see what we can do all right we have maggots there Look at that. They're not going to be able to resist that, Josh. This is going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, we got a flag. God damn. Yep, we got a flag. Oh, man, she's dumping. Maybe it'll give us some snow for the ride back. Oh, we got two flags. Yeah. There's one right here. Oh, this one's ripping. It was screaming. What? It was screaming, but it it must have dropped it. Probably will go off again in a minute. Yeah, that one was screaming when I got there, but she didn't. Uh, got, him. got it. Yeah, did. There you go. I it, it was probably had it in his mouth. I started pulling it away. It's a little bass. Think so? Yeah. Yeah, a little bass. Same size. Huh. All right, pulled that one. We got to get some fish on the jig rods here. Okay. Whoa, it just went off. Spinning. Oh. Huh. I got it. Another bass. Another bass. Oh my god, dude. Literally turn around, there's another flag. Oh, it's spinning. There's something on there. The thing is, I was too lazy to change my hook out on this, so I've got like a a huge hook. And uh I can't imagine a yellow perch would take that, so it's probably a bass. Got him. Yeah. Oh. It's coming right at me now. Bass. Another little bass. Another bass. Gee. Not what we're really going for. We got quite a few, quite a bit of gungings, but I don't need to put them on. Yeah, we got a flag. Okay. <laughs> All the way up there. I'll go grab it. There's probably nothing for a bass. It's it. We are not having good luck yet today. Handful of bass. We've had a few fish come in on the flasher out there jigging for perch, but nothing's committed just yet. Please be a perch. Please. Get to 
fix them in line. Bass, dude. Oh. We didn't take Josh's big snowmobile out here because we weren't sure what the ice conditions were. Um, but there's plenty of ice, so we probably could have gone and got it and moved around a little more, but just to play it safe, we took the skidoo out, the old skidoo. Probably should just try to cover some ground here, but we got two of us using one flasher, which is kind of tough. Um, because we have to kind of fish together. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna post up there and hopefully we got some fish move in later. Yeah, here, tear that top piece up. I'll hold this. I can't get it now. Oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Whoop. This is gonna be a mess. It's one of them PFAS deer from Fairfield. Got him? Little? It's a perch. We're in the right spot. Like that's a little bass. Oh. Little bass. Yeah. Oh, oh, came off. Easy release. <clears throat> Should we just move the shack over here? We already marked two fish. Even if it's even if we're catching bass. All right. The switch is on. The switch is on, baby. Big move coming. Yeah. Big move. Subway back there. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the subway subway uh, sandwich counter. Exactly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it heavy? No, not at all. Oh. It's just with the uh, ground. No traction. Nibble down a little bit. Got him. Small, another small bass probably. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was small though. No. <laughs> Sweet. A small. Large mouth. Got him. Came down, swiped him out there. Came Sw down, scoffed it. How's that feel? Better? A little bit better. Oop. Yep, another gas. Dink. Siege. I think we're cranking the bass. Oh, the bass? Does it feel bigger? Or? It's just no bass. That's not a bad one. That's the biggest one so far. <laughs> well, I mean, no. <laughs> there you go. About a. <laughs> yeah, 13 incher. <laughs> you below it? Yeah. Let's get it. Nice. Damn, dude. <sighs> Just out of nowhere. Yeah. Again. Again, not big in the bass. Nice. <sighs> right in the top. Right in the kisser. Well, okay, I guess the bottom isn't it. It's like right there. I don't know. Where are the perch at? Yeah, that's a great question, Chris. Where were they at? So you guys can kind of see why we never posted this video. It was right at the end of the season. We lost a ton of snow. The fishing wasn't what we were hoping for. I think that I think that, that pond is an earlier spot. So this year, I'm going to try to get back out there earlier and I get on some, some of those jumbo perch that we are after. So... On top of that, I think I even threw away a lot of the footage that we had from that day. So there was other stuff that happened. There were a bunch of other fish that we caught, but I really only saved some of the better clips. And now I kind of wish I would have had them because we had some cool like uh, GoPro footage and some drone stuff. But um, 
That's what it is. If you guys didn't catch it in the video, we brought the old antique snowmobile out there because we weren't sure of the ice conditions. And we had the big shack and uh, we didn't want to put Josh's uh, big, new, big new snowmobile out on the sketchy ice. So we took that the little one out there that doesn't weigh hardly anything. And, uh, which made it a little bit harder to move around and stuff, but uh, we'll definitely be out there this year. So stay tuned for that video or those videos. We might do a couple of them. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon, hopefully on the ice. Thanks for watching.